if you want to know if you can use a Y cable to split audio timecode to two cameras, then watch this video. Hey, Gary Cruz with MAStudios.com here, and I was wondering if I can take my audio timecode or the, the timecode and split it and share between two cameras? And the short answer is yes. So let me walk you through this process. First, you'll need a female to two male splitter and check out my description for the link. Then you'll use the included cable that came with your timecode device. Now to demonstrate this, I also wanted to see if I can use two different timecode devices so that we can uh, use this test. So I want to use the tentacle sync to jam this Atomos UltraSync 1 to get the timecode. So you'll notice the timecode is different here. And right now it should be blinking green. Okay. So let's start from the beginning here. Actually, you know, when you hold this down, let's, let me uh, turn it off first. So holding the power off. And so what I want to do is make sure that this is broadcasting timecode instead of receiving. So I'll hold this down until it turns green. Okay, now it's broadcasting timecode. All right, so you can see that it is at 1750. So I'm gonna put this down right over here. When you first turn on the Atomos, it starts off at zero, which I hate. So with the Atomos, you'll see that it is at 05. This is around 17. And so what we want to do is let's go ahead and put this on the LTC to sync it. And I have the output here. Let's put this over here. And uh, then right when I plugged it in, it actually synced up. So 17, you can see that matching. I'm going to unplug this. I'll place this over here. Place this over here. Now I'm going to take this Y cable and plug it into the UltraSync. All right, so I have the UltraSync plugged into the Y cable. Now I will plug in this into the mic ports of my camera. And the reason why I'm using the tentacle sync is because it has a scratch track that will be recorded on the right channel and the time code will be recorded on the left channel. The Atomos, the Atomos Ultra Sync does not have a microphone. So that is one of the cons, but it does have a screen, which is nice. So if you just take a look at this on the left side, you can see that it is solid. That is where the time code is recorded. And then the right side is the scratch track for the audio that's coming from the tentacle sync. It's going to happen on both. So both cameras have that. There we go. Now let's just do a quick test here. I'm just going to record on this one and then I'm going to record over here. When you can't be in the same area, let's say in a wedding and you're in two different areas of a room, these typically what people would use is the audio to do the synchronization. But if you don't have the same audio, how do you sync up the two cameras? That's where the time code comes in. Now, since this is coming in through the left channel, we'll have to use the tentacle sync software to then match it. So let me pause that. So every once in a while you may pause and then you can record and you can pause and then record. And actually, you know what? I need to make sure that this is pointing at the time code so we can match it up later on in Final Cut. Let me do this one. I'm going to pause on the left and I'm going to record. pause and then record and I'll do one more pause and record and let's see if there's any drifting with the time code all right let's uh, stop both the recordings here and then we'll switch over to the Mac and sync it up all right, we're here on my Mac. So the first thing I want to do is import the files. So let's take in camera one. So I want to grab these MXF files and let's move them. Let's just grab camera one over here. 
Now let's get a camera two. And also, if you recorded audio separately, hopefully you have something that syncs up with the time code as well. You bring in your audio. But this is just a test with two cameras. So let's go ahead and open up Tentacle Sync. And I was also wondering, can you use Tentacle Sync with other timecode devices? And the answer is yes, since timecode is a standard here. So let's go ahead and drop in our files. I've got them on my desktop here. So let's start off with camera one and I'll just drag them right over here. And then I'll right click, I'll select all of them, right click and I'll set the sync group to one. So you'll see one there and that puts that in the metadata or in, it lets the, it lets tentacle sync know which camera it's coming from. So it doesn't mix them all together. And also when it exports it to Final Cut Pro, it will also keep that data that is two different devices. All right, so now I've got camera one and I've got four files from camera two. And let's actually take a look at the sync map. And then here, you'll see the time code. All right, so now that we scroll through here, we've got the time code showing up from the embedded metadata. And if you take a look at the screens, they match which is good. So let's go to camera two. This matches. Now I'm wondering if there's any drift later on. Let's go ahead and go over here. This is 14, 14. But look at this. The iPhone is inaccurate. So don't use the iPhone screen to measure your time code. Use something like another time code device that has a um, frame accurate clock or a uh, temperature accurate clock. So then we go over here and uh, take a look at this clip. Okay, 59, 19, 20, 59. No, this one's off by one frame. Let's go back here. Interesting. And then you can see the, um, the tentacle sync I, um, iPhone is showing 1919, this is 1921, and this is 1920. So I'm wondering how much further down this will drift out of sync. So we've got 24, 21, 24, 19, and this is 24, 21, and that's 20. Go back over here. Oh, this is even further. This is at 19, and this is 21. And this is also at 19 and 21. Interesting. Uh, let's pull this into Final Cut Pro and see what that looks like. So over export, let's click on XML and we'll do time, time code test. And then we'll use the same settings out of here. And also one of the things you want to do is make sure that your project frame rate is the same as the recording frame rate and also the same setting on the actual device so that they will all match up. So let's go ahead and click on save. I'm going to pick this untitled here. And uh, let's close the import window because we don't need that. And here we've got this multicam setup. And we take a look here, let's scroll through. And this one is at, so that says 15. And they should blink at the same time. You can see the blink right here and then the blink is off. Interesting. Let's go over here and see if this blinks at the same. Now the blink is at the same time right here. And then we go here and the blink is at this almost the same time. And you look at the time code. This is 10 and that looks like a 10 as well. And that is also 10. In a pinch, you can use the Y cable to split the audio signals between two cameras and it will keep it relatively in sync. But what I did find is that when you actually had separate devices plugged in and dedicated to each one, there was no drift at all. So definitely get a time code device for each camera, but in a pinch you could get by with a Y cable splitter. So if you found this useful, definitely hit like and subscribe in a way out. And thanks for watching.